pyramid and the cone. First, we'll talk about the pyramid. In the opposite figure, we have M A B C D H is a penta pyramid. It means its base in the form of a pentagon uh, of uh, five sides and the five vertices, of course, with vertex M and its base. The polygon A, B, C, D, H, the base of this pyramid, it's only one base, A, B, C, D, H. Its lateral faces are the surfaces of triangle M, A, B, C. Here we have five uh, lateral faces, all these triangles, M, A, B, and the M, B, C, M, C, D, and so on. It is called lateral faces. Five lateral faces. And it is lateral edges are M A, M B, M C, M D, M H. Okay, now we know uh, in the pyramid M A B C D, it's, uh, uh, it has only one base in the form of a pentagon and it has five lateral faces all of uh, these faces are triangles M A B M B C and so on and we have uh, the lateral edges like M A and M B M C now what is the height of this pyramid the height of this pyramid it is M N it is the distance between the pyramid's vertex M and the its base level and the base this distance is called the height of the pyramid and the slant height like MX it is the distance between the vertex and any of its base edge so mx is the slant height and it's perpendicular to the base edge here so we have mx perpendicular to ab the height of the pyramid mn and mx is the slant height okay slant height perpendicular to the edge and mn is perpendicular to the base regular pyramid it is a pyramid whose base is a regular polygon regular polygon its center is the foot of the perpendicular from the vertex to its base so the center of the base it is the foot of the perpendicular mn from the vertex to the base so n is the center of the base its lateral edges are equal so m a equal m b equal m c equal m d equal m h equal m h so its lateral edges are equal in length and its lateral faces are surfaces of a socialist triangle like m a b it is an isosceles triangle. All of these faces, lateral faces, are congruent. Slant heights are equal. So MX equal, for example, MY, ME, all of these slant heights are equal. The perpendicular straight line drawn from the top of the pyramid to its base is perpendicular to any straight line uh, contained on this base so MN perpendicular to AC also MN perpendicular to BD MN perpendicular to NX so we can say that the perpendicular straight line drawn from the top of the pyramid to the level of its base is perpendicular to any straight line in it in the base 
in the opposite figure mn is perpendicular to the base level mn is perpendicular to the base level so mn is perpendicular to ac so mn perpendicular to ac and mn perpendicular to line segment bd mn is perpendicular to line segment nx then the triangle MXN is a right angle triangle at N. This triangle, this blue one, MX, MNX. This triangle is a right angle triangle and it is very important to triangle. So measure of angle MNX equals 90 degrees. And uh, we can calculate uh, the length of MN using Pythagorean theorem as mn uh, as mx power 2 equals mn power 2 plus nx power 2 and nx power 2 equals mx minus mx power 2 minus mn power 2 and so on example m a b c d is a regular uh, quadrilateral pyramid the length of its base side a b c d equals 10 centimeters and its height equals 12 centimeters find its slant height again on the figure m a b c d is a quadrilateral pyramid it means its base on the form of a square the length, the length of its base, A, B, C, D, equals 10 centimeters. A, B equals 10 centimeters. Also, B, C equals C, D equals D, A. H equals 10 centimeters. And its height, M, N equals 12 centimeters. Find its slant height. The slant height, here we draw it, mx. So, in triangle DBC, here, this triangle DBC, we draw DB. N is the midpoint of BD. N is the midpoint point of the side BD. And X is the midpoint of BC. So you can say that XN is parallel to CD and XN equals half CD. So now we know the length of XN. Since CD equals 10 centimeters from the given, so XN equals 5 centimeters. And we write it. Again, N is the midpoint of BD, or DB, it is the same. And the X is the midpoint of BC, here. Then, NX equals a half DC, equals a half, multiply 10, equals 5 centimeters. And since MN is perpendicular to the plane ABCD, MN, is perpendicular to the plane uh, A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D, it is the base of the pyramid. So we can say that triangle M, N, X is a right angle triangle at N. Then triangle M, N, X is a right angle triangle at N. And we draw it M, Nx is a right angle triangle at N. And we can write Mx power 2 equals Mn power 2 plus Nx power 2 by Pythagorean theorem. And we substitute. So Mn power 2 is 12 power 2 plus 5 power 2. 5 it is the length of Nx equals 169. 12 power 2 plus 5 power 2 equals 169. 
and the slant height mx equals the square root of 169 which equal 13 centimeters m a b c d is a regular a regular pyramid uh, it's based on the form of a square it's quadrilateral quadrilateral pyramid its height mn equals 20 centimeter and its slant height in this case, the slant height, the length of slant height is given equals 25 centimeters. And the required is to find the length of its side, the side of the base of the pyramid. Okay, if you know the length of Nx and Nx equals half AB as we proved it before so uh, you can calculate the length of a b like this we draw a triangle m n x we have m n equals 20 centimeters from the given and m x equals 25 centimeters Mn perpendicular to the plane ABCD and Xn subset of the plane ABCD. So Mn perpendicular to Xn. And now we can write Nx power 2 equals Xn power 2 minus Mn power 2 from this triangle. Nx power 2 equals Xn power 2 minus Mn power 2 and we substitute to get xn power 2 equals 225 and xn equals root 225 which equal 15 centimeters n is the midpoint of bd and x is the midpoint of bc then xn equals half bc xn equals half CD. What is the length of XN? We calculated it's 15. So 15 equals a half CD and the CD equals 2 multiply 15 which equals 30 centimeters. So the length of the side of the pyramid the pyramid's base equals 30 centimeters. It means AB equals BC equals CD equals DA, each equals 30 centimeters.